Hi and welcome to another interactive document in Word. Let's give this a try. I've actually embedded it using Shockwave. So let's give that a try. So let's try the steel drum. All these are embedded using Shockwave within the uh, Word document. So what I will do now is to actually show you guys how how to embed something like this. Okay. I think it's interesting and uh, it's good for everyone to know. We just have some fun. So let's go into we are already in Word document. We might as well just open another one and start a new a new program entirely so let's just press ctrl n and start a new one okay we are in a new word document now um just for your information if you don't have your developer menu up there so i will advise you to go to file options select customize ribbon and that is it right there make sure it's checked click on ok i'm now going to change this uh, orientation let's let me change it to landscape there now click on the developer menu up there and right here where you have the controls drop this down legacy forms and select more controls now you will see this dialog box of more controls scroll right down and now you then need to select shockwave flash objects right there click on ok just right click on it select properties if you don't want to right click you can always select property right there click on the property and right here where it says movie that's where we're going to enter all of the images but let's close that that first but before we start embedding the images i'm going to copy this and just tab tab out of the way enter the next one now we have all our shockwave objects in place up here I might as well just enter as follows so I'll enter the following let's come for interactive select and increase the font size let's increase it to about yeah that's fine and get it centered make it bold as well okay so we have all of all of our objects in place now right click on any one of these objects but before then let me show you the shockwave files I intend to use right here are the shockwave files I intend to use I intend to use that of the piano and that of the steel drum I have both tutorial on YouTube so I'm going to right click go to the property and right there where it says security click on security so that you can get all of the part of the file you intend to copy so I've copied that very part I'm going to close that come right down here now select the object okay now click on property where it says movie enter the part that you've just copied right there that is taken care of so I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other one this very one repeat the same thing now let's go back and copy the steel drum the part of the steel drum which is right here right click properties security and come right here copy all of those parts copy okay and minimize this now select this repeat exactly the same thing there now the fourth one right here is very one select that movie repeat the same thing and you can then close your property dialog box now you see where it says design mode click that once you click that and that is how your interface will look like right 
so let me just minimize that a little bit so that you guys can see it all right so we can now just play around with it and it becomes interactive you hear that guys so we can even play music if for those of you who are good in playing music you can just have a go at it you hear that guys okay so we can play the piano this very one works as well i'm not good in music so i don't know about anything i don't know nothing about music okay so you can always create yours you've seen how easy it is for you to have fun it's just all about having fun and i think you will enjoy it so you have a go at that so you can do more than just typing away in word you can also have some fun uh just before i say bye for now let me show you how to save it go to file select file save us wherever you intend to save your project i'm just gonna call that piano let's get rid of all of that and that's it right there and make sure save type you come in here save it as word macro enable document okay select that and click on save and that's it that's how it's saved and you can just open it as usual so i'm going to say bye and thanks for watching